Welcome everyone here to the Smash Sports Show right here on Smash FM here on Lockdown Monday. And of course, uh, let's uh, go back to our ambassadors, of course, and uh, this time one of our athletic ambassadors, of course, she is from the Kilo St. Bernard's uh, Athletics Club. Of course, uh, she joins us right now over Zoom. Thank you so much, Beck, for joining us. No problem. Um, Lockdown number two. Um, how's it been like for you in lockdown two? Oh, okay. We've done it once, so we can do it again. Probably not the best, like, trainings now on my own or just with me and my coach. But, like, if it's going to stop the spread and save lives, I'm going to do it. Uh, obviously, when we came out of lockdown one, um, how was training like a... Uh when the restrictions ease for about a month and a half? Um, well, I think I went to two group trainings because we didn't do, sorry, a bit tight. You know, lockdown's taking its toll already. However many days in we are, I've lost count. But I went to two or three group trainings. We didn't start till like halfway through in between the first lockdown and now lockdown and then I got a cold and I had to get tested for corona and so training stopped because me and someone else also had to get tested we both came back negative so that's all good but then training stopped because they were too scared about corona and then it stopped all together because suburbs got locked down mm. um I was recently quite like I was told, oh, you're from Hume, like not just by like people, this is like, but like I'm from Hume, so people are like, oh, you're in the hot spot, but my suburb actually didn't get locked down, so that was kind of nice because it meant that I could still train when others couldn't. I was like, see, not all Hume people are infected, <laughs> anyways. But yeah, training, yeah, it would have been nice if it could continue as a group. Because it was nice seeing everyone. I hadn't seen everyone in, like, so long. Like, before, the last time I saw everyone would have been the night of our club handicap race, which you attended. Great night. I guess it was a great night to say goodbye to athletics for quite a long time and everyone. But, yeah, not too bad. Didn't listen to our last interview. Obviously, we had five or six of your uh, club uh, athletes um, at our interview. Um how many of those uh, have you been catching up with? I have seen one of them. Um, yeah, I saw Zell at training probably a month ago now, but I haven't seen anyone else. But that's all right. Look, we're surviving. We're Snapchatting, you know, texting. DMing, we are still in contact, um, but it would be nice to see everyone again because mm. it's kind of annoying not being able to see people. Actual training at all? Yes, um, I train with my coach Kathy on a Sunday morning, just me and her, because you're allowed one-on-one -on -one training with yeah. social distance because that is the key to stopping slowing and stopping the spread and saving lives um and then i was training on my own like that's quite lonely but we didn't really have a choice so yeah the, the athlete uh, no winter season is done and dusted now um is the next focus on the summer track season and if or obviously whenever the next event's going to pop up um, so we don't really have a winter season for athletics. We have winter training, we call it. So that's been a little bit stuffed up, but not too bad. So I have school, I'm meant to have school athletics in term three. I'm pretty sure it's going to get canned. Um, but kind of just making sure I don't lose any fitness and speed and things like that. Um, so that when we get told, oh, we're going to have an event in a month, I can get ready for that event nice and quickly because. I have the base and I can, I'm prepared for it basically. So don't know when it'll be, but oh well, only time will tell. Mm. You do school athletics, uh, which is 
in this term. Were you hoping to have some sort of competition knowing that your last one you done was back in on the Labor Day long weekend in March? It'd be nice. But like with the winter training being a bit messed up and things like that, like me being a bit sick, um, it's probably not okay, it's not a good thing that it's been probably gonna be canned. But it gives me more time to get more ready and do better in the future. So like maybe in four months or however long it takes, I have no idea. Depends what this virus wants to do. But um yeah. I wish I do I love athletics. I love school athletics and I do hope it goes ahead, but if it doesn't, then like so be it. Like I'll just move on and whenever the next competition is, that's what I'll be ready for. Obviously, uh, when I was out there for the, uh, uh, of course, the handicap uh, on the Labor Day long weekend, um, and of course, got to see yourself and obviously three amazing uh, athletes that was with you on that on that relay team. Tell us a bit about uh, the three athletes and how special is to have, have them. Okay, so Amanda, Chloe and Azal were in my relay team and oh, we just get along really well. So it's great to have them because we're all quite close in age. So year 10, year 11 and year 12 we are. And we all sprint. And I don't know. It's good because every Saturday at Shield we get along and things like that. And to be able to like put it all together at the end of the season and just have fun with a relay like the handicap one was really good. And yeah. And we all we all just we want to take it seriously, but we also want to have fun. We're all on like the same page and we have some funny moments as well. Like we all have embarrassing moments that we all just share. It's funny as yeah. Um now uh, have you ever I'm assuming because all you were sprinters you would have played uh, you would have compared against each other um in races um in state wise yeah um I guess how firstly how difficult is that and secondly how good to at least be with each other in regards to a relay uh knowing that you don't you haven't had I guess most of the time um you normally be competing against each other? Um, it's good. Um, so me and Chloe are the only ones in the same age group. We both are in year 11 and yeah. So we both did States together. We were in the same 100 heat at States. Both went through top, top two in our heat, which was really good. And then we were in the final as well. She just missed out on me. She came fourth. Pretty sure she came. I'm pretty sure she came fourth. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then we also did the 200 together, which was good. It's good to be honest. It's really good having someone because up until this year, I didn't have anyone from my own club because Chloe only just joined this this season or the one that's just passed. So I'd be on my own. But like I made friends with the girls who are in my age group, obviously. But it's fun just having someone like we can go warm up together and then go to the little um, call room. It's call room. It's call room. It's called call room. Anyways. We got a call. It's great because you can just sit together, chat, like we're there for each other. You know what I mean? And then having us all in a relay together, that's good because we compete against each other. We say each other, like how good each other are, or our abilities and stuff. And so it's good being able to put it all together because we know like who's better, like Chloe's better at running a longer distance than me. Like Azelle's a good starter. Amanda's good for everything amanda i can just do it you know what we can all do everything but when we know each other's strengths and we put it all together it works well because everyone knows like who's good at everything if that makes sense because we've seen each other run and run against each other so that's really good and we like yeah it's really good being a relay and we like can as we there's a video a very funny video of us practicing bat and <laughs> change passes at the handicap um like that's this we can just have fun like that yeah, it's good being in a relay team with them. Youth athletes is a pretty unique sport you know, for the fact that, especially now with what's been happening, it's the only, I would say, only probably two sports that with the restrictions at the moment, it's, you know, it's not really affected too much, which obviously yeah. athletics is one of them and cycling is the other. Yeah. But, um, 
I guess for you, that must be good to know that, you know, even though all the other sports are done and dusted, cancelled, and they can't really practice together and all that, uh, with your sport in particular, and especially what you do on track, um, I guess that must be good to still, you know, motivate and sort of still be able to go out there and train uh, either by yourself or one-on-one with your coach. Yeah, it is good, actually. We're very lucky, like, because you can have one-on-one, obviously. So, yeah, I can have my coach. Um, some trucks have closed, but Aberfeldy has remained open, which is good because I trained there actually this afternoon. But it is good. It is good knowing that it's an easier sport to do because, like, we don't require basketball or things. There's nothing that we need to sanitise, if that makes sense. Mm. Like, we don't have to san- – like, you can't sanitise a track. Yeah. Well, you probably can. You know what? You probably can. You can sanitise everything else in this day. I've got my hand sanitizer here. I just, just a, like it's so random, but yeah, um, yeah. Just knowing, it's good. It's good being able to just train without worrying about being restricted to not being able to use like the basketball hoop. Mm. But yeah. Team, uh, especially the girl side, uh, won't worry about the boy side so much, um, but. Uh, firstly, um, who's the comedian out of the girls' team? Amanda. Amanda can make anything funny, like anything. Like, if she says a track, she can make a joke about it. It'd be funny. I'd say Amanda. Yeah, Amanda for sure. For sure. (laughs) Uh, Who's the best singer in the girls' team? Not me. Absolutely not me. I would make you deaf if I say it. um look I'm gonna be honest because we're sports people we don't really sing as I don't know I don't know anyone if they can sing or not I'm gonna be honest don't know <laughs> I just know I'm the worst now I know well there's gotta be some dancers in athletes because I know there's always celebration dances uh, at times uh, and then I see on the athletes <laughs> track it on the odd occasion um especially at the handicap one um <laughs> Tell us, uh, the best dancer in the in the group? Not me, but we do TikTok. Come on, TikTok is like life at the moment. Not, well, it's been gone. Um, I'd just have to award it to the girls in general. The boys do not ever get a boy to do TikTok dances, but <laughs> they they can't do it. It's like it's just don't get a boy to do TikTok dances. But I wouldn't award it to anyone. I'd just say the enthusiasm of dancing that everyone has is good because you don't have to the to be honest the worst dance you are the funnier it is like yeah i can't award anyone that sorry no that's right. all good um who has other than yourself um who has the best personality um out of the group oh, oh god okay um everyone's different Oh, I don't know. Everyone's different. Like, everyone has something about them that I like the most. Uh, I like... Okay, look, Amanda and her humour, funny, comedian, everything. Love it. Then, as I was like... her Kind of got a bit of a serious side, but, like, logical. Like, when my brain fails, hers backs it up and helps it out. I can't award that either. But I'm going to just say everyone has great personality. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much for joining us. It's awesome having you on the show. Finally to catch up after, what, was it four months now? Um, yeah. Yeah, four, four months to the day. Um, Is it? Yeah, four months to the day. And so we last uh, did an interview, um, which was at that, that. Which was at that Labor Day um, uh, handicap uh relay um so but thanks so much for joining us well hopefully we'll get to see you back on the track very soon and uh hopefully uh, doesn't take us another what the two three more four more months to catch up again yeah thank you no worries and there's uh that's rebecca bain there from the kilo st bennett's uh, athletes club because just giving us a bit of an update on how she's traveling of course uh because part of our smash fm ambassador There's more on the Smashboard show right after this. Don't go away.